do you need things to be precise or exact for you to even consider feedback or criticism? If so, you're letting your brain protect your body and that's actually blocking your growth. And today I'm going to tell you why and how to change it. Hi, my name is Dr. Ocel Romanelli and this is The Potential State. Today we're in Own Your Shit 36. Your brain is your bodyguard. Fire him so you can grow. So we don't want to be hurt. All of us want to feel safe and loved. And for a lot of us growing up in tough situations, we also have this core belief that intimacy is dangerous because if I'm vulnerable, people can hurt me. Add to that the fact that our brain is hardwired to protect us from danger and pain. Remember, fight and flight, or it's scanning all the time, possible dangers, friends or foe, friends or foe. And the brain slowly becomes our bodyguard. We hire them. We, we develop this, this machine to make sure that no one is going to come too close, that no one's going to hurt us. We want to control what we're feeling down here. We want to control what's happening in the relationship. So we just basically say, you're in charge. Whatever people say to you, scan it. If it's precise, let it in. But what does precise mean? Precise means is what I think about myself. Precise is my comfort zone. Precise is exactly what I know. But that's the opposite of growth, right? Because in growth, we all want to grow. But growth means that someone needs to challenge me. Someone needs to show me my blind spots, show me my shadow. Help me own my shit. Help me own all the things that I can't really see. Because you cannot see 360. You need other people that can see different angles of you. So what happens is we, we're ended up, we end up being super protected by this bodyguard, but we're bored and we're not being touched. Nothing is touching us. Nothing is entered. We keep blocking these opportunities for growth because everything people say to us, we're like, that's not precise. That's not exact. He doesn't even know me. How dare you say that? We're blocking, blocking, blocking. And that keeps us lonely, bored, stuck. And it keeps our relationships shallow because people can feel that you're blocking them because it's not precise. It's not precise. Life isn't precise. Life is sloppy. And you know what? You want to play, come down to the dance floor, open up, take a chance. And I want to give you an example. I was working a while back with this woman and it was kind of like a, a challenging situation. I kept showing her like these blind spots and the defense mechanisms. And she kept saying, well, that's not precise. That's not exactly right. And that allowed her not to let any of what I was saying land. At a certain point, I said to her, you know what? My, maybe it's not precise, but let, just let that land. Let your body, let that drop in your body. And, and focus in focusing, we talk, we, that's called felt sense. Let your body kind of let you know if that's right or wrong. Because in focusing, they believe that the body's wiser than the brain. And a lot of things that the brain says, that's, no, that's not happening, is actually sometimes is true. And if you want to grow, you need to let your body feel it. You need to let your brain calm down. So I finally said to her, you know what? This is not precise, but just let's, let's just linger with that. Let's just let that trickle down your throat into your heart and see what happens. And it was really interesting. We sat there quietly. We were on Zoom, actually. And suddenly, you could just see that she was letting that in. And that new reflection, that feedback I was giving her, started running around in her body. And then suddenly, she had this, this realization. She saw how that was true in a certain way, in her own way. But for that, she had to fire the brain, fire the bodyguard, and let things go down, let things land. So how do you do this? First of all, share this episode with your partner so you create a culture where the bodyguards can are fired and this is a body-to-body -body experience where you're going to be open you're going to take a chance and let what people say in and then remind yourself that feelings are good even pain feelings are feelings are what make us alive refer to the feelings episodes and then the only way to grow is to let things in that are ego dystonic that don't fit what we think because if it's if it's precise that means it's exactly what i know that's my comfort zone okay if you want some if i want to grow i need to be feeling i need to be exposing myself to things that don't feel comfortable that are not precise that are not the way i perceive myself that's how we grow and then when people give you this feedback when your partner comes and says shares whatever they share about you let it land even if it feels weird if you're like that's not that's not true just trust it you know, in the Meisner and improv in Meisner, we let things land and we, we, we even repeat the sentence. We want to check with our felt sense to see how that lands for us. Oftentimes, the body is wiser than the brain and things that you're saying, that's not possible. Actually, when you repeat it, when you let it land, you're like, oh, yes, that is true. So how do you do that? You just give yourself time. Open your mind. Let it through. Let it hit your gut. Swirl around in your body. You don't have to immediately react. You can actually even say, wait, let me, let me check this. Let me feel this. 
It's also fine to let it feel, let it land. And then you can actually say, well, you know, that's not true. It doesn't feel right for me. That's also fine. But if you don't fire the bodyguard, then you will not, you're not going to grow. Learn to love sloppiness and improvisation. Let your bodyguard itself fire bodyguard and grow. My name is Dr. Selva Manelli, and this was The Potential State. I'll see you next time.